Open in the morning show on the alternative station, CD1025. Time for Now Loading, our weekly look at the big video game releases, all brought to you by Comic Town. Host of the Star City Games Invitational Qualifier with Modern Masters Prize Support happens tomorrow. See ComicTown.net for details. Jeremy from Gaming Nexus uh, with us. How you doing, Jeremy? Oh, I'm not doing too bad. How about you, Joe? Uh, pretty good, man. We've got uh, three games to talk about today. Let's have the first one. Yes, there are three big releases this week. First up for race fans is Grid 2. Now, this is available for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and this is the sequel to a game that uh, launched back in 2008 and received huge critical acclaim um, for its realism and its accessibility. It's kind of a good mix of the two. But uh, this one has a vehicle selection that spans more than four decades, and it kind of sets you off into a bunch of worldwide cities. You may be racing places like Paris and some famous U.S. cities. But the big draw here is the multiplayer because it kind of integrates what is called RaceNet, which is an online service that kind of tracks your stacks over time and compares them with the world. Okay. And um, through their through their hub website, um, you can get people can watch your races because it automatically updates uploads of videos to YouTube of your different feats and whatnot, and then they can send you challenges online and you can kind of get fans through your virtual website. So early pre- previews have been very positive and reviews should start hitting well, they started last night and today, and it looks like it's pretty good, just like the first one. Okay, what's that What's that out for? That is Grid 2 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Okay, I love a good racing game, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good one. Yeah, uh, what else? Um, all right, for shooter fans, there's a game called Fuse, which launched this week. Now, this is from a studio called Insomniac Games. Now, they've been best known for the Ratchet & Clank series, which has been pretty big on PlayStation. But this is their first game that's coming out for a variety of platforms. Um, this is available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And it's a um, game that was previously known as Overstrike. It looked like a very uh, comedic military game. Well, they scrapped it and took it in a serious direction and relabeled it as Fuse. And and most people are wishing they had stuck with their original plans because the reviews have not been great. On really? Them. Okay. Um, it's a solid shooter. I'm not going to lie. I had fun with it, but I fully admit it's got some serious faults to it. It's very bland, but it's meant to be played with your friends online. And when you get a group together, it can be a lot of fun. But the reviews have been really... But you could say that, but you could say that, but Jeremy, you could say that about any game. So really, I mean... Well, no, I mean, there are really some, some great things in it, because the, the weapons are really the star of the game, because you get these, yeah. uh, they're powered by this alien technology called Fuse, so, and you get to enhance these weapons, and they kind of grow over time, okay. and you truly have to work together, um, to take down your enemies, and the weapons kind of work with one another, you know, one guy can freeze somebody into solid, and another guy has these bolts that shatter them, but playing with the computer, it's okay but your computer partners aren't the greatest yeah but you know you get friends on there and you can actually you know have some fun just joking around with it so i enjoyed it but no the reviews have not been great and i would say rightfully so okay what's that game again and what's that for that that is fuse for the 360 and playstation 3 okay uh we've got and go ahead Oh, I'm sorry. The big game this week, yeah. I'm going to say, is a digital title called Castle Storm for Xbox Live Arcade, which I reviewed, um, just went live yesterday. Very, very fun game. It's kind of a combination of a bunch of worlds. You basically take Angry Birds, add in some tower defense and capture, mix in some old school hack and slash with Knights and Vikings, and basically get to build with Legos all at the same time. It's just a kid's, big kid's dream. Now, how is it like Angry Birds? Are you attacking pigs? Yep. No, well, you, <laughs> no, you take the Legos and you build your own castle. Yeah. And then you and your opponent does the same. And then you basically set off to try to destroy each other's castle. Nice. You're launching projectiles, different things at his castle, chipping things off all at the same time, sending troops out to march across the field. And then if you really have to get into it, you can actually head out onto the field and control a warrior right up close into the battle. So... Very addictive, uh, very fun, and definitely I think it's going to be a huge hit. That actually also sounds awesome. Is that is that an online play too or no? Yes. Yeah, you can play online and off with friends, um, both cooperatively and competitively. Okay. And um, it, it just it's a game that I just keep going back to for more. Excellent. What's the, what's the platform on that one? Yeah, that is exclusive right now to the Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jeremy, people want more uh, more reviews and such from you. Where do they go? They can head over to GamingNexus.com. Excellent. Thank you, sir.